Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today, Elaine and I have kind of a busy and pretty exciting day, and I will talk to you all about that in a little while. But before we do any of that, we've come down to... <laughs> before we do any of that, we've come down to Waterstown to walk the dog. So we're back from walking the dog a little while now. We've had our lunch and everything, and it is time to get stuck into our day. So the big exciting plans that Elaine and I have today are that we're actually gonna be putting up our Christmas decorations. And the reason that's exciting is because Christmas is always exciting. And also, like normally we wouldn't maybe put up our Christmas decorations quite this early, but you know what? With all the lockdowns and the year that has been 2020, why shouldn't we put up our Christmas decorations a little bit early? So that is what we're gonna to do today, and that's really fun. The only downside to it is our Christmas decorations are in the attic, and I need the ladder to get them, but the ladder's in the shed. It is raining, so I'm going to get a little bit wet. Frank was not thrilled about me bringing the ladder into the house. I mean, he just doesn't know what's going on. Okay, I'll go get these decorations down. One thing I haven't mentioned and one thing that we're not doing this year is we're not actually putting up our Christmas tree. Basically, last year we had our Christmas tree out in the conservatory because it was the only place in the house that it really fit because the only other place we could put it is this corner behind me here. But the problem with this corner is this guy sleeps there. So we can't put our tree there anymore, which means the only other place we can put it is out in the conservatory. And we found just in last- In fairness to him, we never put our tree in that corner, so. That's true, we never did. But it's, awesome. the, it's the only other place that we could put it. But anyway, the point is that last year we had our tree in the conservatory and as lovely as it looked, we didn't really use the conservatory. We weren't out there at all. Like when this door is open in the winter, we lose a lot of heat through the conservatory. So we tend to keep this shut and don't really use it an awful lot, which kind of means that having the tree out there is a waste. So we've decided that we're going to Christmasify the rest of the house and we're just going to skip the tree this year. Okay, so we have this Christmas garland that's going over the fireplace and there are lights on it that are battery powered. And Elaine is just basically trying to unhook the controller unit for the lights. And um, it basically is the same as this one, but it's just, it's attached to the garland. So she's trying to unhook that a little bit, just so that we can have it kind of further up the garland so that the box with the batteries and the switch will sit on top of the fireplace. So we're still in the process of Christmasifying the house and we have our nice garland up the banister here. But one thing, while we were doing this, and I say we, like Elaine's really been doing pretty much oh, everything. But, what are you doing? I was gonna turn on the light, but then I remembered we have smart lights. But while we were doing this, there was a knock at the door and it was basically a delivery man and he brought me new slippers. Now he didn't just bring me new slippers, I ordered these online and they're Abercrombie and Fitch, but they're really nice and I needed new slippers because I've basically got holes worn through the soles of my old ones. But these are perfect, so. They match his shirt and they're also Christmassy. Yeah, they're very Christmassy. They really go with the Christmas theme of this video. A little bit darker and it's a little bit later and we have the house Christmified. 
I will now turn you to my lovely assistant. Who was assisting who? To be fair, I was assisting you. If anyone is the lovely assistant here, it's me. Okay, so first of all, put on this little lantern. Ta-da! Yay! And then and over here. Oh, it's just like some candles. Yay! That's cute. I'm very happy with that. Are you? I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I think it looks great. I'm gonna light some candles later. Yeah. And, then and finally, this is our Christmas garland. This is basically our Christmas tree. So we have some of our Christmas tree decorations hanging from it here. So we're very hopeful that Frank won't eat these. And we have lights, which were actually there all along and we just haven't put batteries in them for about a year. So that is our house all Christmified. We're also having Christmas dinner for dinner tonight. And I will show you guys that when it is ready. So, dinner was delicious. For dinner tonight, we had nut roasts. So I had a cranberry nut roast and Elaine had a camembert nut roast. And we got them in Aldi and then Elaine made loads of like roast veg. So we had uh, roast potatoes and we also had uh, roast carrots and parsnips. But Elaine actually coated the carrots and the parsnips in maple syrup. syrup that was the word thank you in maple syrup so it was just it had like a maple syrup glaze and it was really tasty and yeah just so delicious tonight elaine and i actually have a plan we're going to sit inside we're going to watch a christmas film so that is our plan for the rest of the evening so i'm gonna leave this here and i will see you guys in the morning Hey guys, so it is the next day, so it's now Sunday, and I was gonna say good morning, but it's 25 past three in the afternoon, so we're way past morning, and I've done no vlogging at all today. Just been kind of busy and getting a lot of stuff organized because I have a big week ahead of me in work. So I just wanna show you guys some stuff that I have here because this is kind of cool. Well, I think this is kind of cool. So, in this bag here, which is huge, in this big bag, I have this big camera. So this camera is a Sony FS7, and this is it here in all of its glory. I'm gonna be using this camera all next week, so I just, I'm going to spend a little bit of time today just kind of playing with it and getting used to it and kind of just getting to grips with how it works. So there's loads of little bits to it. This arm here mounts onto this here. And then this cable here just connects into the bottom here. And this now means that I can control my zoom and I can start and stop recording all using this remote. The idea is that I can have it up on my shoulder like this. I'm really excited to be using this camera for the next couple of days and the reason is that it's just such a really like it's just such a powerhouse of a camera and like you can feel it even like just the weight of this thing is phenomenal like I'm gonna like I won't need to work out while I'm using this because it's just so heavy <laughs> gonna go and put all this camera stuff away. I do want to just make sure all my batteries and everything are charged because obviously I don't want to run out of battery tomorrow. But I'm pretty confident that I can use the camera. So that's fun. And I'm really excited to kind of be filming next week because this is the first time that like I've been on shoots before, but this is the first time that I'm kind of going to be kind of properly on a shoot and working properly on a shoot. So that's really exciting and I just can't wait to get stuck into it. So we're just about to have dinner, and for dinner tonight, Elaine made lasagna, but it's a quinoa lasagna, and 
I'm very, very excited because it looks delicious. So we've had our dinner and it was very tasty and Elaine did a great job making it. Very happy. So I have to go and do a bunch of meal prep now. So I'm gonna go and do that. Probably gonna leave the rest of this video here. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.